What's going on guys? Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a multi-purpose tech hatchery. That structure in the distance is my tech lab outpost, which I'll be making a video of in the next upload. Just a little far away teaser for you all there. To start this build, place down your square tech foundations. like this in two columns of four. Next, take your triangular tech foundations and place five on this back edge and then five on this front edge. And take your squares and place them on each of the edges of each of these triangles. And then fill in this side with triangles and a triangle on each edge. Repeat this on the other side. And fill in these gaps with free tech foundations. You'll have something that looks like this. On each of these triangles, place down a square foundation. Adjacent to each of the square ones, place down triangle foundations. And you will have a pattern that looks like this. As I said, this is a hatchery, so we're going to place down some air conditioners now. Now the best part about this part is they don't have to be straight or look pretty because they're going to be covered. So on these inner eight square foundations, place down an array of air conditioning units. Like I said, they can be put down any old way, any, ha any haphazard manner, it doesn't matter, you know, go crazy with it. You do you bro, you know, whatever. Like I said guys, in my next upcoming video I have um, a tech lab outpost. Be sure to ding that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on that. And of course, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing, bro? Go click that subscribe button and smash that like button while you're at it. It'd be muchly, muchly appreciated. So I'm just going to throw these air conditioners down any old hell, you know. Next, take your singular tech walls and place them around these inner square foundations, one wall high. And then we'll go ahead and cover the top with eight square tech ceilings. So now we have that down. Take your tech fence foundation and place them on the left of these three squares and on each of these square corners. Left of the three squares and each of these square corners. Now next snap four high tech pillars on all four snap points at the front rear and either side of these corner square foundations all four high on all snap points all the way around yeah i've been on a bit of a tech kick lately guys um this is on official settings of course all my bills are on official settings i keep my twitch for honest official settings and i go live every wednesday and sundays at 8 p.m est the Twitch is in the description below. I would love to see you there on my next live stream. So now we have that down, guys. Let's go ahead and create our outer perimeter. Taking your large tech walls, place them around the edge on the edge of each foundation. 
Make sure you're snapping these to the edge of each foundation and not to the fence foundation. Yes, I've been on a tech kick lately, guys. Um, after this next tech video, I'm going to be switching it up and coming up with a, a new playlist. Along the inner edge, all the way around, we're going to place down the square ceilings match the pattern below. So where, wherever there's a, a, a square foundation, place down a square ceiling above it. Next, take your singular tech walls and around the inner edge, we're gonna place them down all the way around three high. This is built on Lost Island guys. I'll leave the uh, coordinates for this in the description. The area that I'm at is actually a very nice flat area. When you're putting these down, make sure you're snapping them to the floor and not to the ceiling above like I just did there. I think when doing tutorials, it's important to show uh, the what not to do as well as what to do. So that's what you get with me. My tutorials are not always that thought out. I have a general game plan in mind. I like to think my tutorials are a little bit more realistic. Yes, yeah, so if you miss me building crazy guys, tune into that Twitch because I build crazy on that Twitch with the unofficial settings. Again, place down your square ceilings above each of the square foundation below, matching the pattern below. Next, we're going to take our appropriate left and right slope tech wall and place them on each of these square ceilings all the way around. I'll start by doing the left hand side. And I'm going to do the right hand side. Also guys, thanks for the uh, channel support lately. I'm nearly at my goal of uh, my first goal of a thousand subscribers. So now we have that down, we're going to go ahead and fill in these gaps. So take your sloped tech roof and place them down on all of the square parts. Continue this all the way around on each of the slope parts. And then we're going to go and fill in the triangle parts. So take your triangular sloped tech roofs. And anyone who's anyone who's ever built with triangular sloped roofs knows that they're a pain in the ass. Continue this all the way around the outer wall and the inner wall. So obviously the goal of this is for the egg to, to roll down into the hatchery. If you haven't, if your roofs are not flush, pick them up and try them again. You'll notice when placing them down, you have two snap points. So 
So you have one snap point that's a little raised or one snap point that meets it flush. Yeah, so when I'm breeding on this guys, I like to put my dinosaurs on the ramp part so the egg rolls down. And when I'm not breeding with them, I like to put them on the raised part that I'm gonna create in a second. This is a multi-purpose uh, hatchery. It can fit dinos as, as small as a compi to as big as a rex. I'm also gonna be working on a multi-purpose uh, dino pen. And my next live stream will be a gacha collector build. So guys, if you followed it all the way around, you have something that looks like this so far. And at, these, at this top edge and this back edge, we're gonna place down two tech walls. And then staircases around the left and right hand side. You have something that looks like this. So before I skip forward to my painting and decorating and extra things, what I'm gonna say is if you have a lipped part like this, just pick it up and retry it because patience is a virtue and it's gonna look better in the long run if they're all flush. So go around and make sure they're all flush. Next, take your foundations and place down two square foundations on each corner and then four on each side two on each corner and four on each of the left hand and right hand sides and take your triangle foundations and fill in the gaps here all the way around Now we're going to take our newly placed foundations and turn them into block. Do this all the way around until it looks like this. Now we're going to create our dino lip storage area. So place down ceilings that match the foundations that you've just placed down below. Copy the pattern below all the way around. So the idea of this hatchery is when you're done breeding the dinos, you place them on this lipped raised part. When you want to breed them, breed them, you leave them on the ramp part. The egg will roll down and land in the on the square tech ceilings and it will incubate. So wherever you have a triangle, place down a square ceiling. And wherever you have a square ceiling, place down triangle ceilings. Obviously this, obviously this can be done with any material. If you're not at the stage of the game yet where you're, uh, you're rolling in all this tech, if you're not, you can always build this with uh, more of a primitive resource. Now we're going to go ahead and take our tech railings and place them too high all the way around. But we're going to leave a gap at the front for our ladders for our entrance to this uh, little breeding pit. I'm going to leave a gap there of two. And 
I'm going to place um, place our tech ladders. You could use stairs if you want to do the stairs and foundation it out or even jump pads. So I skipped ahead and I spawned my dinosaurs in and I painted the uh, slope parts orange and the hatchery part that uh, green. I powered it up. Looks pretty cool, right? I've also added refrigerators and cryo fridges on some of these corner parts here at the top. And I've added some incubators at the back side here and the front side of the hatchery part. I hope you enjoyed that guys. And until next time, that's me out.